This video is sponsored by Luminar AI. Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I am finally releasing my very first preset pack that I made exclusively for Luminar AI. If you're not familiar with Luminar, it is an editing program that's kind of similar to Lightroom, but also has some really cool features that uses artificial intelligence. So it can add the sky with just one click or it can change your model's eyes with just one click. It's really cool. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description down below to a full video where I use Luminar AI, where I added my pictures in the program. So yeah, link will be in the description together with some other links, links to the templates and some discount codes. I know that some of you guys might be a little bit disappointed that these presets are not for Lightroom and Camera Raw, but if you would like to see those in the future, please leave this video a like to let me know and comment. So Luminar actually calls their presets templates. So that's what I'm gonna be referring to them from now on. On in this video but they are exactly the same as any other preset with just one click you will get the color correction and other adjustments specifically made by me these are made for indoor and studio type of photography because I was really inspired by the work that I did during quarantine and a lot of my self portraits these are also made for JPEGs because I personally like to use Luminar as a Photoshop plugin but we will get into editing in more detail in a bit. The pack has both dramatic and more subdued kind of templates. Uh, it is very earthy toned, cool toned, and there's a lot to choose from. You will get 25 different templates. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and actually show you guys the templates in action. So we're in Luminar AI right now, and this is what the templates are gonna look like. You have them here on the right side. As I mentioned before, there's 25 of them, and each of them is color coded with a different color that kind of corresponds to the template to make it a lot easier for you guys to identify them and use them. The example image that I'm showing you guys only has the skin retouch done. Other than that, it's straight out of the camera. So we're gonna start with the dramatic templates. There are seven different variations of this one. So this is the original dramatic. As you can see, it's pretty grungy and colorful. Uh, I personally really like it. it. I think dramatic is one of my favorites out of this pack. Then we have dramatic warm which is very warm, of course. Uh, if you want to tone it down, it's easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, adjust the templates uh, later on in the video. Then we have the dramatic sepia. We have dramatic cool. Dramatic very cool, because as you can see, it is very, very cool. Uh, dramatic dark, which probably is my favorite dramatic template. I really, really love this one. I use it all the time. And then we have dramatic matte, which is also really, really pretty. So next up, we have the cool wash and the sepia wash. I don't know if you've noticed, but I did do uh, warm and cool versions of the templates a lot. So you have that option there. So here's the cool wash. Here's the before and after of the cool wash. And here's the sepia wash. Next, we have two black and white templates. Here's the regular black and white. It is a very straight to the point uh, contrasting black and white. It will work on absolutely every single image. It's I made it very universal. Uh, and then we have the black and white grainy. So this is a more subdued kind of black and white, um, a little bit more kind of grayish and it has some grain to it as well. Next up, uh, let's do olive. So olive has a lot of green tones in it. So here's the original olive. I'll show you the before and after. Now we have olive two, which is more of a kind of bluish tone to it. And then we have olive three. I really love olive three. I think it's so good. Again, one of my favorites. Uh, next up, let's do eggplant. So Obviously self-explanatory, it has a lot of purple in it. Here's the before and after. And then we have some muted templates. There's three of them. So there's muted. So muted is a little bit brownie. Like it has a lot of brown colors in it. So here's that before and after. Muted brown, 
obviously it's even more brown so this template actually will take any blue tones out of the image and will make it very very brown it's very interesting uh, and then the muted blue so this one again it depends on the on the image like it works pretty well here with some pictures it works better with some uh, it works less good but yeah here's the muted blue then we have blue which like eggplant gives a lot of blue uh in the shadows so eggplant was giving like the purple in the shadows and the blue gives a lot of blue here i actually made this preset specifically for this image i'll show you what it looks like here yeah so this is the blue on this picture again one of my favorites i really really love these then we have two film presets so this is just film. It has a little bit of the green in it. And yeah, it was inspired by film. And then there's this film two. So film two is very green. Ooh, it's not really working on this picture particular. Let's try it on a different image. Okay, yeah, so it works much better on this image. You know, it's an interesting preset. Again, works better on some pictures works not that great on others that's just the nature of any preset of any template and next up we have just few more presets that are a little bit more powdery i think that's a good way to describe them i made them when i was working on this photo shoot so they work really good here the first one i'm going to show you is faded i absolutely love this preset so i really love how it brings the detail and the black it just, I don't know, it like makes the whole image very like soft, soft and powdery. That's like the only way I can describe this template. Next one, we have the powder preset. And again, it's kind of similar, but it's a little bit more contrasting. So here's the before and after. Here's powder on a different picture. And then finally, we have the bridal uh, templates. So we have the bridal and the bridal cool that's before and after so yeah these are all of the templates and now let me show you exactly how to use them in action so now we're in Photoshop because this is how I normally would use Luminar AI I would use it as a Photoshop plugin so this image right here actually let me take these off so this image right here is straight out of camera. Uh, I then did some skin retouch and some color matching on the skin. And at this point, I would go into Luminar AI and apply some templates and start the color correcting. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate my layer. I always duplicate the layer in case something goes wrong and I can always go back to the original image. So with the duplicate layer, I'm going to go into filter, Skylum software and Luminar AI. All right, so we are in Luminar and I'm going to choose my templates because I made those. But if you bought the templates, you'll go into purchased. So I've been trying a few different templates here and I actually really like eggplant and I really like the way blue looks on this image as well. So I think actually I'm going to go with the blue. Yeah, that looks really nice. But like with any preset, filter, template, uh, you know, I try to make these as universal as possibly they can be, but I always do recommend doing your own little adjustments to the templates. So here it looks pretty good, but I'm going to do just a few more adjustments. So I'm going to go into edit. Uh, in light, I'm going to raise the temperature just a little bit to make it just a little bit more warm. And then I'm going to raise the shadows quite a bit because I want to see a little bit more detail in the hair. I'm going to also raise the highlights just a little bit. And then in color, I'm going to make it a little bit more vibrant. And then we're going to go to HSL. And there's a lot of like pink in my skin tone. So I'm going to make it just a little bit more orangey to get rid of that. And I'm going to make the blues even more saturated. All right, let's see. I think that looks really nice. So that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna oh actually no let's do a few other things i'm gonna go into face and we're gonna make my lips a little bit more red and more saturated i love doing these and then in the eyes we're gonna eye enhance and we're gonna do the iris flare as well 
Here's a little before and after on just the eyes and the lips. It's a little bit of a difference, but it's really nice. Okay, so this is all that I did um, to adjust this template. Uh, but definitely go ahead and adjust more if you want to. Use my templates as a base for your new templates. Uh, and whenever you're done with adjusting, definitely save them. So press these three dots right here and save your new template because you never know if it's going to look really good on some other pictures as well. That's what I always do. Actually, most of my presets and templates are just variations of the previous ones that I made before. All right, so now that I'm happy with the way this looks, I'm going to press apply. All right, the filter is applied now and here's the before and after again. I'm just going to now uh, name the layer Luminar. What I love about using Luminar as a plugin in Photoshop is that it gives you so much more control over the image. Now that I've applied the template, I can do even more things to it. So I can play with the opacity in case I think it's a little bit too much. Uh, I can also play with adjustment layers. Like the lighting uh, looks kind of interesting, very different. Uh, another thing I can do is if I don't like how it affects a specific spot in the image, I can just erase it. Let's say I want this whole part to be not as blue anymore. So yeah, I can just erase whatever part I don't like or add it back in. Usually after this, I would do just a few more adjustments to the picture like dodge and burn and some more selective color. So I'm going to do those very quickly off camera and then come back. All right, I'm back with a few more adjustments. So pretty much what I did here, I'm going to group them real quick. So these are just a few more adjustments that I did. Just a little bit more dodge and burn and a little bit more color to the image. And that is it. You definitely don't have to do that. Uh, the templates that I made are pretty strong so usually they should be enough for the color correcting but you know I like to go a little bit extra so yeah this is the final image and those are my templates I hope you guys really enjoy them so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you do end up buying the templates and using them please tag me on Instagram Facebook or send me an email if you don't have uh, any of those I would love to see your results Thank you so much Luminar for working with me on these templates. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.